Alt Workstation Flex Series Assembly Video. Movement Core Unboxing. Unboxing the Movement Core. Step 1. Remove the clips, squeeze, and pull. Step 2. Open the box. Step 3. Remove the cardboard piece by piece. Step 4. Cut and remove the zip tie. Step 5. Remove the last piece of cardboard. Step 6. Lift the light side of the movement core, then lift the heavy side of the movement core. Now lift the entire movement core up and out of the box. Place it on a soft surface. Part 1. Base and Movement Core Assembly Step 1. Grasp the movement core by the metal tube inside, not the plastic cover, and slide the box underneath so it rests about an inch behind the bottom edge of the plastic cover. Step 2. Tilt the base toward the movement core so the base holes align with the studs at the bottom of the movement core. Step 3. Screw the nuts on with your fingers and use the T-handle wrench to tighten. Step 4. Tighten the nuts on the base in a diagonal pattern as shown. Tighten all the nuts two times. Step 5. Tilt the movement core up so it sits on top of the base. Part 2. Seat Assembly Step 1. Remove the plastic cap and cut ties. Step 2. Lift the seat and slide onto the metal post. The person in the front will support the seat's weight and slowly raise or lower the front of the seat so the slots in the tube will engage with the post's teeth. The front person should not try to press the seat onto the post as their ankle will make alignment more difficult. The person behind the seat will support the seat weight on the right side and firmly press the seat straight onto the post. The right hand should be in line with the post and press directly toward the post. This will help the coupling to slip straight on without catching on the sides of the tube. Step 3. Lift the seat cushion and begin to screw in the bolt using just your fingers. Then finish screwing in the bolt with the hex key just until the plastic washers are partially compressed. Part 3. Remove shipping brace. Step 1. Remove the nut on the shipping brace closest to the rear of the station. Leave the bolt in place. Step 2. Remove the nut on the shipping brace closest to the front of the station. Leave the bolt in place.
Step three, put pressure on the arm of the station to help loosen the bolts. Step four, remove the shipping brace. Part four, backrest installation. Step one, place the metal cover over the movement core post. Push down firmly to ensure it is secure. The second person will guide the channel of the backrest onto the post. You will know that the post is completely engaged when you can see that the channel hole and the post hole are aligned. Step two, lift the backrest and guide the channel over the movement core post. Move the backrest forward and back to align the channel on the post. If the seat back plastic has lowered, you will need to press the bottom of the plastic forward and slide the plastic to the highest position to get the hole in the plastic aligned with the bolt hole so you can see inside. Step 3. Insert the bolt into the post. For the bolt to fully align, the person supporting the weight of the backrest will need to slowly lift the backrest up and down, while the person with the wrench ensures that the bolt is turning freely. Step four, once the bolt is tight, use the 3 8 inch hex key handle to tighten fully. Push down until the aluminum handle begins to bend or breaks off completely. Step five, install the plastic plug. Part five, desk installation. Step one, unscrew the desk mount and make sure the washer sack is present. Step two, insert the desk mount into the desk arm and screw the knob onto the shaft of the desk mount. Step three, insert the bolts and position the desk so the bolts line up with the desired holes. Most users mount the desk using the center two holes. If the user requires more space, use the holes closest to the desk edge. And if the user needs the desk closer, use the holes farthest from the desk edge. Step four, screw in the bolts starting with the bolt closest to the desk arm. Make sure this bolt is screwed in all the way, then screw in the second bolt. Part six, monitor arm installation. Step one, remove the bolt from the monitor arm. Step two, Remove the magnetic disc on the arm's right side by touching the quarter inch hex key to the disc, then remove the bolt. Step 
Step 3. Slide the yoke grooves over the keys on the monitor arm's two discs. The monitor arm will slide straight down. If the monitor arm fits tightly, firmly push down while wiggling side to side. Step 4. Position the clevis, tilting at a 45 degree angle toward the seat when tightening. Insert the bolt and moderately tighten with the quarter inch hex key provided. Step 5. Replace the magnetic disc. Part 7. Leg rest assembly. Step 1. Cut the zip tie under the leg rest. Step 2. Remove the pin on the bar under the leg rest, then slowly lift the leg rest until you see the first hole in the bar under the leg rest. Reinsert the pin. Step 3. Remove the cardboard from the ratchet bars under the leg rest. Step 4. Push up on the ratchet bar closest to the seat with one hand while slowly lifting the leg rest up with the other. Lift the leg rest until the ratchet bar hits the hinge, then slowly lower the leg rest back down until the bar catches. Step 5. To adjust the leg rest, lift each section until you reach the desired angle. Part 8. Cable installation. Step 1. Open the cover under the seat and plug the actuator cord into the far right port. Route the actuator cord out the right side of the controller box, as seen in the video, to prevent smashing the cable. Step 2. Plug the S and D cables into the sockets of the connector box. It does not matter what cable goes into which socket. To insert the connectors correctly, the slot in the sides of the connectors needs to be facing up towards the bottom of the seat. Route the cord through behind the other wires as shown and plug it into the power strip. Step 5. Test the circuit breaker. Press the blue GFCI button. A green light will come on. Then turn the circuit breaker on by pressing the red button so the switch lights up, indicating power on. Next, press the gray button to reset the GFCI. Finally, press the blue GFCI once more to power on. Step 6. Route and zip tie the wires so that they will not be pulled or crushed when the station moves. Part 9. Desk Leveling Before leveling the desk, install your monitor, as the weight of a monitor will affect the desk's angle. Step 1. Squeeze the lever under the desk arm and position the desk arm about midway out, or 3 inches. Step 2. Raise the desk arm until you hear a click, and then push it down firmly until the desk arm is level. Place your level on the desk arm to check for levelness. Step 3. Tilt the desk until it is level. Place the level on the desk to check for levelness. Step 4. Place the level on the desk parallel to the desk arm and push down on the outer edge of the desk. Condition. Desk too low. Step 1. Turn desk over and unplug. Step 2. Loosen the keeper screw farthest from the desk arm by one full turn. Step 3. Loosen the keeper screw closest to the desk arm by one half turn. Step 4. Tighten the jack screw by one half turn. Step 5. Fully tighten the keeper screw closest to the desk arm. This is critical to do in order. Step 6. Fully tighten the keeper screw farthest from the desk arm. Step 7. Turn the desk back over and check level again. Condition, desk too high. Step 1, turn desk over and unplug the cable. 
Step two, loosen the keeper farthest from the desk arm by one full turn. Step three, loosen the keeper screw closest to the desk arm by one half turn. Step four, loosen the jack screw by one half turn. This will drop the outside edge of the desk by approximately three eight Step five, fully tighten the keeper screw closest to the desk arm. Step six, fully tighten the keeper screw farthest from the desk arm. Step seven, turn the desk back over and check level again. Thank you for choosing Altwork. Need help? Contact us, support at altwork.com.